All right, everybody, what is going on? It's not welcome back to another episode of Pencil Puzzle. Today we are playing another uh, Sudoku from Sudoku.com. It's classic Sudoku, and today we are we're going to brave it. We're going to try one of the expert ones here. As you can see, I am already straight into the puzzle. No messing about today because I feel like this is going to be quite the challenge. I have done a couple of these over the last few days, but still not 100% confident of my solving abilities at this point. So we'll see how it all pans out, I guess, and uh, whether or not the numbers will be nice to us today. So um, yeah, we're just going through as always with the pencil marks. Um, we're gonna move from here. Still, some more pencil numbers. Okay, so we can place a nine here actually by the restriction of this nine and this nine. So let's stay focused on this at the minute. Does that offer anything else? We're going to want two, five, seven. Well, we only know that seven can't go there. So, and against my better judgment, I'm going to place sevens there and there. Um, I say against my better judgment because it's not usually how I like to pencil mark. I normally like to keep it within the block. Come back and bite me in the bum later on down the solve. Sevens are restricted to there and there. Nines to there. Threes are in here, but we don't know a lot about. We don't know much. Uh, we don't know much else about the threes. Also, if you learn to talk. Could be something else. Uh, fours. Yes, the fours. Now we can place four here. Limit our fours there. Replacing that block though for the meaning fours three for that seven. Three for the two, and two, missing the three, four, missing the five, missing the six. Okay, just looking. Hold on, uh, this can't be a two. Five, five, seven, five, and two are the missing numbers, aren't they? Yes. So that's got to be a two or a five. That's got to be. All right, it's got to be a seven or a five. That's got to be a two or a five. Could be any. Only we could eliminate like this cell, maybe, so we know that five is going to be there or there. That'd be helpful. Eights, 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 what can we do with eights? Not a lot. Eights, 
We're seeing some like rotated symmetry here as well. Some of these numbers. Or well, some similar symmetry. Like here we've got two numbers spaced out like that. Here we've got three numbers like that. So they're not quite um all symmetry, but Um, yeah, I'm not seeing anything now. Seeing and six, six, eight. Lines. Okay, I think I'm going to start working on rows here. Identify any candidates just within two positions within the row. Three's got to go there. Um, yeah. Something. Can I please have something. Give me a sign. I've seen a lot of like cells where there's three possibilities for things in like this kind of pattern. The fours here, sevens here. So I don't know if that like is the any any form of symmetry. Uh there's some like something weird going on with the symmetry here. I don't know. I don't know enough about like symmetry and Sudoku to be able to kind of like make that um deduction. But yes, definitely some interesting patterns. A lot of these L shapes as well, these right angles. This sees one, two, three, four, five, but it could be six, seven, eight, nine. If like look somewhere where we haven't got the digit in the block. Like some rows. Let's like look here. The one. The two though. That doesn't help. So we've got a three in the block. So one, two, three, four, five. 
Yeah, five, six, eight, uh, five or six here. I mean, it's narrowed it down to two. And but a six could go there or there. Six has to go there or there in this block. I right, so identified a pencil marking at least. There. We know a six can't go there, and it can't go there, so it has to go there or there. Any other positions like centrally or here, which are eliminated? The answer is no again. This is a five. This is a five. Okay, so it did help. That really did help. Okay, so six is left in this row. We've got three, five, six, seven, three, six here. We've got the seven here. So that has to be a five. We could have identified that with regardless. Right, wrong one. Let me just go back because I don't want to have I don't want to have inadvertently got rid of some pencil markings there. Okay, so sevens. Sevens are going to go up here. So the three's going to go there, so we can finish this this section off here with that and that. Threes are there, fours are there. This becomes a 6-4 pair, so let's look at this very carefully. That means a 7's got to be there. This becomes a 3-2-8 three, two, three, two, triple, which leaves a 1-9-9-5. Nine, nine, Don't know enough about the rest of that, though, unfortunately. There's nines there. Okay, nine. Can't go there. Sorry, there's that one there. I thought we'd maybe got, a, we, we got something there where we could place the... Nines. All right, so we've got a few more digits in the grid. So is this now the only place for a seven? Yes. Fours and sixes can't go here. Four, six, two, and no, one, two, two, five, eight. The four and six. Let's look at these blocks carefully. Might have some digits that we can only place here. We know the six and the three aren't going to go here. What are the other two digits? One, two, three, four, five, six. Could be a six. Uh, three, six, nine, three, six, nine, eight, and one. No, not about twos, do we? One, two, five. Yes, okay, so this is a two. Five has to go either here or here. 
Okay, that other two means this is a two. Ones and nine, so that's a five. Mm, uh, no, it's not right. Yeah, that's right. Check. Yep. So it's a five. One, nine pair there. Four, six, two, and eight. So that's got to be a two or an eight. Don't know any more than that at the moment. Let's scan along here now. One, one, one. We know now there's got to go in here. Two. Nine, four. Ignore the one and five, nine. Two's got to be here. That's going to be a two, three pair. This becomes a five, uh, an eight, three pair. So that's an eight with a three. We then have a one, nine pair at the top here, leaving us a six to place there. That becomes a three. This becomes a, oh uh, no, we made a mistake. Okay. Stop for a moment. Okay, this can't be two. Okay, that can't be two. We got a little bit ahead of ourselves. I got excited. And we placed a digit that I shouldn't have placed. Okay, so we've got fours here for sure. Fours are definitely there. You don't need to place a two. I don't know why I thought two. So fours and threes. That could be a three. And our other digit is a eight, six. Okay, so three. Yeah, okay, so this is the eight. The eight has to go here. This could be a six and this could be a six though. Okay, we've we've backpedaled. We've corrected the mistake. Now let's focus once again. Four six three. The other digit here is going to be a five. Four three. So that's going to be a six four five three pair. We know this. Oh no, no, hold on. Go back a minute. Okay, I need to be really careful. I need to slow it down and just think about this for a minute. I'm getting close, but I'm need I'm making silly mistakes. So one, two, three, four, five can only go here. Five can only go there. Six. Four, three, six, six, four, three, six. This now becomes the one nine pair, and this is an a three. And threes are in the top here somewhere. Okay. Like ones and nines are going to be the deciding factor here. Two, three, eight there. One, one, nine, five. One, nine, one, five, nine. Okay, that resolved itself quicker than I thought. Hold on. Go back again. Put in the wrong digit in somewhere. Made a mistake. Ones. Let me check. We're okay. I didn't see any red. Got anything here that we can use to eliminate this? So this again is a four six. Four six. Here. It's 
twos, three, four, and an eight. Any of the rows or columns where we are close to completion? Well, this now has to be a one. That's a nine. Nine. One. Two. Seven. Two seven. Nines. Four. Has to go here or here. Twos can be anywhere. Still, like, really low on twos, considering we um, were as far down the road with this puzzle as we are. I would have expected to see more twos. Sevens and eights. Okay, central block is still quite an enigma at this point. Twos. Gotta be a six, only place to place a six is there. I do some unwinding. I don't know where my cursor is. It's like going around with my mouse and not even really paying much attention to what, where the cursor is. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Five, seven, eight. It's the only place for a four, it is. It'll be a five. Fives are in the center. Seven, eight, two. Still can't resolve any more out of this. This is like bizarre. We can deduce a seven has got to be there. Who's can be anywhere as can eights. And two eight, the other digit here is a one. B. All right, that could help us greatly. It says, but we're being left with a lot of two sevens. Uh, sorry, two eights. This is the one that's going to help us. No. Not too soon, maybe. Eight, three, five, two, three, five, eight. Five has to be in the middle, though. One, two, four, five, six. This could be three, seven. No, pimp marks, please. This must be like the big resolver here. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. Is this the only place that that can go? No, that could be an eight. Two, five, eight. Two, and eight. Eight, two, eight. Two, eight, three, eight. Come on, what am I missing? I'm missing something. Am I missing? Is 
at the minute, this just to me now looks like there's, it's just like a case of pick a pair and see if it resolves. And if that's the case, I don't like that. So many pairs. I'm really not seeing anything like how to how to resolve this without just taking one. All right, I'm just gonna let's say this was a five here. That would be an eight. That'd be a two. That'd be a four. Eight, seven, four. Two and eight still there, which may be problematic. Seven, the eight, that would be the three, that would be the eight, that would be the two, that would be the eight, that would be the two, that would be the eight, uh, that would be seven. Five. That would resolve. Um, what if this was the four? That also resolves. No, that doesn't resolve because we've got two eights here. Okay. But I don't know how I would work that out without just picking a, a number and going for it. So if you could see what the resolution, what the resoluting move was, resoluting mood, resoluting move was, and how I would have seen it, then please do let me know in the uh, comments down below because I'm not seeing any, I wasn't seeing anything there easy to disambiguate and differentiate between the two. But thank you very much, guys, for watching. We did an expert puzzle on sudoku.com. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Take care, stay safe. Happy gaming. So, in editing, I realized probably what a lot of you realized is this is the key to the puzzle. So starting at the purple in the left-hand column, the purple represents a two. So if we place a two in that uh, block seven, that makes the one above it a seven, meaning the two has to be a two in the two eight pair in block two. And as you can see, both of those two eight pairs in the central column would have to be an eight. Therefore, it's not possible to have that configuration. Easy to see when you're not up against it. But uh, like I say, maybe some of you guys did notice that. I just noticed it in post and thought I would, uh, yeah, explain what I had found and what I think to be the solution. Thanks, guys, for watching. Appreciate it. Bye.